Guys, it's almost time for live stream, but I don't know if you guys know this or not, but here in Florida, we just got quarantined. Now we've already been quarantined for three freaking weeks trying to keep our family safe and healthy, but I'm going a little bit stir crazy and I've got a plan for tonight, something to make things a little bit fun. I'm gonna bring, well, I'm not gonna bring him. My buddy Ross, one of our instructors at Aviator is gonna fly in a special delivery, a new product that I'm excited about that I'm excited to share with you all. And uh, he's got a parachute attached to it. So we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> little quarantine style delivery service this is uh this is different and new and uh for those of you guys in the comments who are going to say you shouldn't be flying at a time like this uh, i totally understand and appreciate respect your opinion uh ross has made this decision for himself it uh, is in my opinion a great thing that we have the freedom in this country to be able to make the decision on whether or not you think something is safe for you so uh Obviously, we highly recommend that you restrict your safety bubble, do things safer than you normally would, keep yourself safe, keep everyone as healthy as possible, and we'll see you in the video. All right, so uh, Eric has a job for me today. Since he's stuck at home and won't leave his house, and he needs supplies, I am gonna do an airdrop. So I'm flying from the school over to his house and seeing if I can drop some safety supplies with the parachute directly onto his house. So follow along with me and we'll see how this goes. I'm feeling a change coming. I'm feeling a change coming. Right here I'm feeling a change. I'm feeling a change all around me. No doubt I'm feeling a change, I'm feeling a change running down me. Stereo hunts with the munchkins. <laughs> Apparently he doesn't want to be on camera today. <laughs> the kids don't know it yet, but there's a little secret coming from the sky tonight. Hey, what? A secret! A Titanic! <laughs> Careful, don't hit me. <laughs> Why do you think there's a paramotor coming? Uh, um, Mrs. Egg! Did you drop a ton of Easter egg, of course? <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool. Why is it coming? We'll see. Is it gonna drop confetti? Is he gonna drop plastic bunnies, Mommy? I don't think so. He's definitely gonna try what do you think he's going to drop? I don't know. I don't think he's dropping anything. No? Unless he hooked in a secret compartment and he filled it with confetti. Or something. It's too funny. Thoroughly Lysol, it kills 100 illness ca causing germs. <laughs> this is a great intro because this is the new Parapack. I'm very excited. This is a safety life saving device designed to help people like you keep yourself and your friends safe. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> so, like I said, this is the Parapack. 
It is freaking sweet. This is a first aid kit designed to strap to your paramotor to keep you or your friends safe. Very excited about this. Honestly, this comes from Parapax. They're available on our website. And in this video, we're gonna show you guys exactly what's in it, what you expect from it, etc. You can read all the information up on the website. Lots of cool stuff. Really excited about these new Parapax. And we look forward to sharing more with you soon. and created by a paramedic. Essentially, they're a small travel size first aid kit with a wealth of resources in there for a broader range of emergency situations. We have the standard size crash pack, which comes with standard size shears. I think they're about seven and a half inches long. And then over here, we have an upgraded version known as the survivor pack, which includes a few extra items, such as the Sawyer water filtration system, as well as including, I think, paracord and a compass and some other additives. Let's get into this thing. So we see here, in order to fasten it to your paramotor, there are straps assigned. There's also this nifty Velcro packing. It also comes with tearaway ties that can be secured through the loops of your zippers to ensure that nothing comes undone while you're flying. And then in the case of an emergency, you just rip them away. All right, let's get into the inside of this thing. We see we have a front pocket here. You can kind of stow maybe ID or anything like that, other pertinent information. And then on the inside, we have an assortment of things from wraps, from gauze, different straps. Let's see in here. We have bags of medicine from aspirin to ibuprofen to burn ointments and things like that. We have a Sharpie and a plastic bag for labeling things. I guess if you've opened something, you should know what it is later. Um, you have all kinds of straps for securing the goods inside of the bag. Um, tweezers and then other compartments and pockets where you will keep your items from a CPR face shield all the way down to a safety whistle. We have one pair of nitrile gloves. We have urgent first aid and then we have an emergency blanket as well as some other gadgets and bobs in here, all of which kind of fit into, again, that broader range of uh, emergency situations. For the survivor pack, like we said, it has a few extra additions, such as the Sawyer water filtration system. It also comes with the shears, which fit in that front pouch. Like the other pack, we have a wrap, we have the tourniquet. This edition, however, does come with a flashlight. It comes again with those bandages and gauze and extra things like that. We have the tweezers and we have all of our emergency painkillers, drugs, ointments, things like that. We have paracord, which includes a compass. We have our Sharpie. All right, in here, we have some of the same standard items as well. We have a multi-tool. So here, like in the first pack, we have that credit card knife as well. The Z-Pack for dressing wounds. This kit includes about a 40 pack of matches. Here, we have a wood cutter. And then once again, we have that CPR face shield. Um, like we said, both packs are pretty standard. They cover those broad range of emergency situations. Okay, like we mentioned before, we have several options for mounting the pair pack onto your motor. Um, like we said, we have the side right here. We have the possible strap in front as an option. And then you could always come in the bottom seat below your harness and fit it in there. It fits nice and snugly, and you should have room for a small bag. And it will zip right up. Other possible options are the side bags. 
some bags are smaller than others, so it won't always fit, but other bags are larger on the harness, so it may fit in other harnesses on other models. So just give it a try and see what works best for you. Well, there you have it. We have our new crash packs and our new um, pair of packs. Give them a look-see. You can find out more at the link below, and you can also check them out on our website at aviatorppg.com. Thanks for watching. How's it going? You good? Yeah, can you hold it up just a little bit so we're not staring right at your yeah, junk? Yeah, She's going to point there. <laughs> yeah, just be careful. Oh, jeez. Okay. Anyway. All right. Let's talk about mounting. Okay. Let's talk about mounting. Mounting what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> are we talking like, animals here or what are we talking? <laughs> I was like, wait a second, that yeah. got really awkward really quick. <laughs> You're just happy to see me. It's okay. <laughs> Let's talk about where to I, mount. Yeah, where? Mount. Mounting the safety pack. Woo. On the pair of mounting. Yes, we made her blush. <laughs> oh man, Look at she's that. right, right. She's Look at right that. Right yeah, don't do that. <laughs> we have a tree cutter in the event, I guess, that you need your own firewood. Is that what it is? Yeah, so you can, what's cool is you can use it for, yeah, a fishing pole. You can use it for anything. So you, um, exactly that. So you, this is to keep your fingers from getting cut. But all you do is just wrap it around something. And like, if you need firewood or if you need to get through something, it's just, it'll cut it. It'll okay. probably cut your leg off if you need to cut a leg off. Right on. It don't have to be like 128 days or whatever. Just your own arm off. Yeah, you never know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Start that one over. <laughs> Pull it back out of the bag. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't hold it anymore. Some other options on where to secure your para pack. Cut three. Is it dirty? Always clean your legs. <laughs>